his paper of uh, scholarly communication is it right Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to this session. It's uh, I cut forth with PowerPoint presentation, so I draw this oh. diagram. So I draw this maybe in a, on a plane, starting on a plane, and then when people are talking about uh, their things in the opening ceremony, I still draw it. So, so here, here it is. Uh, my name is Erwin. I'm working at the Institute Technology Bandung in West Java. Uh, my background is geology. I think you 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 will find it weird when I talk in front of you in, inside of the behavioral studies session, right? That that is because I'm talking about the science communication or scholar communication. See. It's related to the conference name. So, uh, me and my colleagues have founded the InArchive. Anybody know about archive.org? It's the preprint server. Preprint is a version of your manuscript before it gets peer reviewed, but you can upload it somewhere to, uh, to get claim before the, the actual paper get peer reviewed. I will talk about later in the, in the, uh, in the coffee time. <laughs> so, <laughs> about impact. We're all scientists in this, in this uh, room. Did you think that journal impact factor or university, university ranking is the impact of your work? Anybody think about that? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So if you think about that, then you still think about this one. So impact is when a meteor hits the earth and then it will create a big impact. See? So the journal impact factor and the age index and the university ranking is, is kind of um, People outside Indonesia, outside Asia, also agree that this is not the real impact. The real impact when you hit the society, right? It's hard to measure, but it's the real impact, not this one. It's really easy to measure because you only see numbers, you see a ranking, but it's not the real impact. See? So, could you move the slide? Okay, so uh, when you do your research, you are expected by the community, whether you realize it or not, that your work will give an impact in some level for the society. And then <clears throat> the other way around is happening. You, you, we are living here in the common scientist island, and then this one is where the common people live, see? So there are no connection. So we need to build a bridge of knowledge between our island and the outside. Because uh, for most Indonesian, your research is funded by the government. See, if you're funded by the government, then your work is a public good, including your data. So if you, all the presenters that previously present in the, in the previous uh, session, you should share your data, not, not only the slides, not only the, the report, but also the data, the raw data, especially when you get funded by the government, by the DIKI, by the research grant that's offered by the government, you should share it. And then, the, the, the existing way of thinking is, is by only publishing your research paper in a journal or in a conference like this. How many common people will, will, will read your, normal people will read your scientific article? Do you ever wonder? I don't think it's 
very much because I mean, the same people like us will uh, write scientific <laughs> articles, <Yeah>. right? <laughs> so uh, we need to make a bridge by by using so many ways of science communication, scholarly communication. For instance, you uh, aside to only write a uh, scientific article, what did you do? What have you done? Maybe make a press release or or write a blog post about it about your research. Something we have to. I mean, we have a some regulation. Maybe chair up in the presentation. Yeah. About it. Yeah, uh, but not not many researchers do this. But now, if you go to Twitter. There are lots of uh, university professors who uses Twitter to separate their work, spread their knowledge, and then they also, I found more people using video, Vimeo, Vine, or YouTube, and then, and also press release. University, good university, usually uh, track down the, their researchers and offer, offer them to make a press release on the help of the university. So if you, if you uh, I see that you are a student, just graduated, and then your university will offer you to make a press release and put it on the university's blog post on the help of the university. So your the report of your work is not only in this only in this conference. It's it can be Google easily. Uh, people can read your work using a very easy word that most people can understand. And then uh, also, and I know it's prepared. Did you know the average uh, time when you submit a, pe a paper and then got your peer review and then publish? Do you know the common duration of it? Yeah, maybe it's four months or six months or so. More people experience way longer than that. I ex uh, personally uh, had maybe three years. Yeah, yeah, three years. So I submit my paper in 2005, 2006, and then later on in 2009. When I graduated my PhD, a week after my my defend <laughs> exam, an acceptance letter came in. So it's really three years. So th this is why the concept of preprint emerged. So you can upload your your draft of manuscript before you submit it to a journal to an open repository. There's there's many many. Uh, open repository that you can put your documents in. So and then, uh, but there are also also there's a drawback. The our enemy now is the similarity checker. See, when you write something before you can actually publish your paper, and then this similarity checker application will get. Your, your previous blog posts or previous articles and then mark it as a, as a duplication or, or maybe a self plagiarism but it's not it's very it's not supposed to be that way because it's all in the one one whole chain of activity see so this is why Indonesian journal managers should have a common ground about the similarity checker, that the similarity checker is only check the similarity and not the, and not to justify whether it's a plagiarism or not. So this is our goals now. So we should, in Indonesia especially, I don't know in your country, uh, we should deal with this. So similarity checker is kind of waste of money, I think. Yeah. Waste of money, yeah. And then, and, and the real impact is the scientists now, especially in Indonesia, is that 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 and they love their science, so they work in in a secret way, so they don't write anything before they publish something. Yeah. Uh, 
where after publication occur maybe one year after the research is finished, and then how the public knows about your about, about our research. See, see the problem. So, is that turn? Yeah. So this is uh, my our suggestion here. So be as open as you can and then share your science as wide as and as far as you can uh, use use uh, free tools so there's so many free tools and medium now online that you can use it for free blogs uh, free print server uh, institutional repository you can use that to exercise your freedom and Thank you, Mr. Pasarta Elvin Iraman, for the interesting uh, slide of presentation. This is new. Okay, and the of question course, for... Of course, this is a new concept in the presentation. Uh, yeah, the new concept. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, also I used it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made this well. Yeah. Okay, yeah, very much. Question from the floor, please. Can I ask you from which country? Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, my name is Thomas Saud. I'm from Pakistan. Okay, Pakistan. Yeah, I'm from Pakistan. I know that some Indian researcher uh, have uh, founded this uh, preprint server for the whole nation, but it's in India. I think it's Indian archive because there's a lot of uh, repositories right now. You won't believe it if. You don't believe me if I told you there's a special, specific repository only for Arab, Arabic language and also for French language. So, right. so it's kind of growing. Yeah. Uh, intention to, to prepare. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have any questions? So no, I don't have any questions. Yeah. It was a very effective view of presentation and it was uh, influencing as well. Thank you. So I will continue with this video presentation. Okay, um, interesting presentation. And um, I might share with you in the in, in my country also about the scholarly communication. Actually, um, I can provide like a a, a big a picture of the community of scholar in Thailand. We have like a two space. I use a space instead. One space is like the uh, the intention, my intention of scholar. They try to like the connect to each other in each field. For instance, the Thai study, they have a one group of the scholar. They try from, to from connect. Any university or? Yeah, from many university, and they try to they they, they work with their in, do their intention right to produce the. Uh, uh, scholarly work and with the good quality enough and they have like the okay try to promote like the, the way how to print it out or publish their work without concern much with the I call like the aesthetic measurement in Thailand <laughs> aesthetic quality measurement because uh, in the one another space that's a uh, a fourth space enforcement space in Thailand they have uh, some regulation and um, it's like a many factor connected government policy um, research fund institution and also like the the stupid measurement that I told you <laughs> that's a try to like uh, this is just a way to improve the university ranking also and the way to like the improve the education system in Thailand but the, um, they already proved that it's not it is not improved education anymore and um, it's like the fake number of the ranking so how to make sure that your student um, have a good quality or have a better skill in education rights so this is a two spade in Thailand and if you are in the a universal spade like this so you like again benefit a lot 
to be the good scholar, but you are not clever or smart enough in the field of the real scholar, something like that. But the real scholar, we know who work with that intention and your work of the quality is good enough, more than concerned with the publishing. As, okay, we are same situation also. Somehow we have to submit in the article of ISI and Scopus, something like that, and you have many queue and it's a business network. So we should have more views or more of you. Thank you for the comments. So if you like to download this picture, it's CC by Creative Commons Attribution. So you can do whatever you like with it. Uh, commercially or non-commercially you don't have to pay me just write that i made this so you can download it uh, in Flickr. you know Flickr? it's a photo sharing platform way before instagram exists so that that way i can tell you how old i am <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much if you have any questions or i will available in this area thank you Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Pasapta Erwin Irawan.